Good morning. We're going to try this one more time. Uh, this is Brian White with Blue Fuse Realty Group. We are brokered by eXp, and this is your Monday morning market minute. Man, there's a ton going on in the real estate market in North Texas. The first, uh, the first two weeks of 2020 have been off to the races. I mean, it has been uh, absolutely spectacular. Very, very busy from a traffic perspective. So if you're thinking about selling, we should definitely have a conversation. If, uh, if the first two weeks are any indication of what's going to happen this coming year, then uh, then it's going to be a very, very good uh, year for DFW real estate. A couple of things we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about our uh, our local market. We're going to talk about what's going on in, uh, in Lantana, Texas. But first, uh, what's going on in uh, the overall DFW market? The Dallas Morning News came out with a report last week saying that uh, the Dallas Fort Worth is expected to be the fastest growing population in uh, in the U.S. through 2029. So the next 10 years, the Dallas Fort Worth population is going to grow faster than any other market in the country. So that's great news. It's great news for a couple of reasons. Number one, uh, in, you know, population growth means employment. It's great for business. Uh, almost any kind of business uh, thrives in a growing population. So more jobs are coming here, more employers are coming here, and the more jobs and employers that come here, the more other opportunities there are. So mobility is great. Uh, our cost of living is low, so that uh, you know that continues to incentivize companies to move here. The second thing though is, if you're a homeowner and more people are moving here, then your home values are gonna go up. Builders are, uh, you know, we're seeing home starts increase. We actually saw, I think it was up 22% in, uh, in Q4 of last year. So we're seeing builders try as fast as possible to catch up with the overall growth in the market. They're not there yet, so home values will continue to increase. You know, I know it can be challenging, and and not everybody wants uh, wants the population, the additional traffic to uh, to add to our area. But but overall, the benefits of a growing population in terms of uh, income increasing, job opportunity increasing, and, and property values increasing end up being a uh, just a boon for for the market overall. So what's going on in uh, in Lantana specifically? So the first thing, and this is shocking. This is really a shocking. We're at a 10 year low of listing inventory in Lantana. So as we exited uh, 2019, we haven't seen an inventory level in Lantana this low since July of 2009. July of 2009. So it's been 10 years since we've seen this few listings on the market. What's interesting though, is that doesn't mean that there's a lack of interest. So when, when you look at November and December, uh, the number of showings was actually up. So when more people are looking and there are fewer homes on the market, that means that the homes on the market get all of the attention. And uh, that certainly was the case this last weekend. So we, uh, one of our open houses yesterday just had tremendous traffic. It was really shocking. It was like a, a midsummer level of, of traffic. Now, I don't know if that's because of the snow and people are just ready to get out of the house and do something or, uh, or what, but we certainly saw tremendous traffic. Uh, th this past weekend. So there's really just not much inventory on the market. That means if you're thinking about selling really at any point in uh, in 2020, that doesn't mean you need to sell now. That doesn't mean that, you know, we're going to put a, a full court press on you or anything to, to sell right now. But, you know, my, my favorite, one of my, one of my favorite classes in college, I didn't go to many of them, but, but this was my favorite is, you know, it's just economics 101 and this idea of, uh, of supply and demand. So if you're thinking about selling your home, then you want to do that when demand is high and supply is low. Right now is one of those times. There are a ton of people on the market that, uh, that want to move and there's just not a lot of inventory. So if your home happens to be uh, one of those and it's something you're thinking about, then, then, then let's look at what time is the right time of year. Maybe that's in the summer, maybe it's in the fall, just depending on your life circumstances. But, uh, but we, we should absolutely have a conversation now to talk about your plan for the year and make sure we get the timing right. Now, now when you move, where you're going to go, uh, that is an opportunity, particularly if we're thinking about uh, new construction, then we can time that. We can look at, you know, are there, um, are there inventory homes that are already in the market or, you know, build time right now is somewhere between eight to 10 months. So you absolutely have time to, to build and, uh, and still get that done in the 2020 years. So lots of options, but moral of the story is inventory is still very low. Um, you know, there's still demand is still very high and it's a great opportunity if, uh, if you're trying to sell. If you got questions on any of this stuff, and, and again, if you're thinking about selling this year, then we would love to talk to you. Just give us a call, you can reach out or, uh, or message us here at uh, Bluefuse. 
because at Blue Fuse, we make the real estate experience awesome for you. Thanks, guys. Have a great week.